Today is our first uh, lesson uh, where we are learning from home and uh, we are going to be learning about simple machines. This is an application of forces. As we are all aware, we need forces and we say a force is a yes push or pull we can also have a force being a twist or turn very good and uh, sometimes we can have a, mm, a squash or a squeeze all those are forces and these forces there are three things that they can do we discussed this before number one a force can cause a moving object to increase its speed. That's number one. Number two, if a force is applied to a moving object, a force can also reduce speed of a moving object. A force can also cause objects which are moving to change direction. So these are the three basic things that forces do to moving objects but today as you can see we are now dealing with forces on machines and a machine is something that helps us to do our work in the easiest possible way i have different machines that i have brought here which are very simple simple machines Number one, a pliers is a simple machine that is used normally by technicians to do their work, either electricians or mechanics. They use this to do their work. It's a simple machine. You will see the secretaries, and sometimes when we have exams, we use this stapler. It is used to put papers together to staple papers together. It is a simple machine. It makes our job for putting papers together easy. I also have, when this go, my pair of scissors. I think I left it. But uh, I can also talk of a knife. A simple knife is also a simple machine where you make your work easy by maybe you are cutting something, you can make your job easy by using a knife. It's a simple machine as well. I am going to mainly focus on this simple machine and this one. A pliers, a pair of pliers, and a stapler. I'm going to demonstrate using a pair of scissors which I drew first then I will demonstrate using these two machines. After which, I will give you an exercise to do. So I want you to focus with me carefully. I will explain how a pair of scissors work. A pair of scissors works in this way. When you want to cut something, you put your fingers in these two handles. This is where you apply the force. When you put them together, it means you apply a force on the uh, handle here and it will move downwards. When it moves downwards, you will see that the end part of it will be moving upwards. The same with this one, when you put, you put, you, you, you push it up, to make this one, this one will go down. When that happens, you are now cutting a piece of paper. So this is a simple machine. So I want you to see how the forces that are here work. For these ones, they are coming together. They are applied forces. But the force that is going to be produced, where work is going to be done, these forces are also coming together. But you will see that the force that you apply here 
is going upwards. But the force that is going to be produced here is now going downwards. This is as a result of the fulcrum, which we normally call the lever, the turning point. That turning point helps in making work to be done on the other end. So this is either we can call it a fulcrum because it is turning, or we can call it normally like a lever. So now, understanding how the forces acting on a pair of scissors are, we have force applied, we have force produced, and the fulcrum. You have now to be able to draw the forces acting on a simple machine. So now I will give you the example of a pair of pliers. A pair of pliers, uh, I, I think most of you normally see me uh, using it during ablution when we want to open those taps. This one, it works in the same way as our pair of scissors. How? Now, look at it this way. If I open it like this, and possibly I want to uh, remove something here. What I will need to do is to make sure that this one which is at the top, there is force which is going to be applied downwards. But look, I want you to look at it. When I apply the force downwards like this, check what is happening to the other end. The other end is going upwards. This is because we have a lever, and the lever is the one that is in the middle, which we now call our full crown. I want just to uh, put a mark so that you can see where the lever is. The lever is in the center here. So this is our lever or our full crown. Now, I come back here. If I now want the other end to move, I will apply a force upwards. When I'm applying a force upwards, look at the other end, what it is doing. Yes, you are right. It is going downwards. So the forces that I'm applying here are going in opposite direction from the force applied and the force produced. Force applied going downwards, the force produced going upwards. So this is how this single machine works, so that I can grip what I want to grip and remove. So I have to apply the force, then I have gripped it. You can see, I have gripped it, then if I want to remove it, I can easily remove it by turning. Simple work has been done by use of forces. Okay. Uh, you understand most of this thing. Now, the last part, or the last thing that I want to talk about is a stapler. I would need to use a simple piece of uh, paper as an example of how the uh, stapler works. You know it, okay? But it works in the same way, just like this pliers and a pair of scissors. So, in this case, if I want to staple a piece of paper, I will make sure that the piece of paper comes in between uh, my simple machine. So what is really going to happen when I am pushing is I want you to focus where the lever, where the turning point is. The turning point is right here. Okay, this is the fulcrum. So when I'm applying my force, I will make sure that this one must go down and this one must be coming up so that we meet our paper in the middle. So if I'm going to step on this one, you will see that force is going to be applied in both directions, upwards and downwards. And you will see that I have stepped on this uh, book in the way that I really want. So this is how this simple machine works. We have to be uh, applied a force downwards and a force upwards. And remember, our liver is in the middle. Now, this lesson is done. 
Next, what I want to do now is an activity. I want you to take out your workbook. If you take out your workbook, you open on page 58. There is work to be done there about what I have just explained. So do that work. And uh, I will be waiting to see your feedback. When you finish, each one of you must post to my email so that I can check and tell you that you are doing well. And I'm going to post those who are doing very well in WhatsApp group. Thank you very much for listening. Don't only wait, keep revising. Tomorrow we'll be having a different session and tomorrow we'll be having a past paper to be done. Thank you very much.